Okay, uh, what we're going to demonstrate today is uh, removing this condenser fan off of the motor. Uh, we're assuming we've had a failure in the motor and we're going to get this fan off or possibly the fan is cracked. So let's go over this and I want to show you that hub a little closer because uh, it's pretty rusted. Okay, you can see that's pretty rusted. Uh, one positive thing here, the flat of the shaft right here is in line with the uh, set screws. Uh, the set screws, this one's got two, which is kind of interesting, but uh, if the set screws had been over on the round portion, that makes us doubly hard because they have chewed into the shaft. Well, in this case we don't have that problem, but we do have a bit of a rusted shaft, and about the most effective way to remove that is with a special puller, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, this is a puller I've been talking about. This one's kind of interesting because this shaft pushes down here as I thread it down, mm -hmm. But these set screws, they mount straight onto the hub, not the fan supports. So this will actually remove those hubs without damaging the fan. Because if you bend the fan, it will act like it's out of balance and it really won't work. Um, you know, it'll vibrate and if it vibrates, then it's going to take the bearings out of the motor, or break the sheet metal of the mount, or some silly thing like that. And uh, so you have to, you really do need a new fan. Uh, this pretty much will eliminate that problem. Okay, we're going to go ahead and remove the set screws. Now these set screws are going to have to be removed completely uh, because the hub is going to have to fit down over there. So that means we've got to take both of these screws completely out. Now before I put the uh, puller on there, you need to put some kind of oil in this shaft. Uh, you know, it doesn't make any difference what it is. Now I've got some little penetrating oil here. And that's fine. Uh, zoom spout oil, motor oil, anything like that. Something that gets on there to give some lubrication because it's easier on the puller. Okay, before we get going on pushing this thing down with the puller, it's a good idea to spend some time with some sandpaper. Some good quality time with sandpaper. And try to get that thing down to where that rust is pretty much off there. Okay, the pullers is mounted. The set screws are pretty evenly pulled in and tight. They need to be pretty tight. Now, I've got this uh, pretty tight on here. I'm probably going to have to get a bigger crescent wrench for this. Uh, I'm going to tighten this down holding the uh, fan blade while I'm doing it. I'm putting a little tension on there just to make sure. Don't get rambunctious with that silly thing. Uh, looks like it's going to be pretty stiff. Okay, you can kind of hear this every time I put a turn on it, it pops. That's actually that hub moving up. This looks pretty stiff because it's pretty rusty. As you're pulling this thing down, 
watch where you're going here and be sure that this thing isn't angling up. If it angles up, it's going to push sideways. Uh, so make sure that your set screws are good and tight and this thing does not come up at a crooked angle. Okay, through the magic of editing, I have managed to finally get this off. This was quite the monster to get off. And it has just popped off like that. Now, popped would not be the the uh, word for it. This one, uh, dang near broke the puller. Uh, you can see the shaft has, it's actually, it probably has been a little bit mushroom. That was part of the problem getting it off. But it has chewed into the end of this shaft big time. And hopefully your motor is the reason you're replacing this so you can replace the motor. Uh, this one here, yeah, this motor's probably done. Uh, this was a scrap unit that I pulled off. There's that fan blade after we pulled it off. Now you can see the gouges that the puller made in this thing. So it's, uh, there isn't any other kind of puller out there that would have pulled that off without absolutely destroying that fan. Uh, and in fact, after doing this one, this thing took me about 15 minutes to get off. Of course, through the magic of editing, you didn't have to see that. Uh, and, uh, I'll note something that happened while I was pulling it off, and this will be a critique on the tool. If you take a look at this tool, a set screw here, set screw here. Notice this set screw? Right in the middle of this job, it pulled the threads right out of it. So I had to drill it out and put a 7 16 bolt in it. Uh, if you look close, you can see that one there ain't looking so good either. Notice that thing is kind of angled instead of straight in. Uh, that's one of the defects of this tool. Uh, it's a good tool. I've owned this tool for 20 some years. Here, this one on this side I think is actually a little bit worse. See, it's, uh, those threads are pulling on it, so I'm going to have to replace that one pretty quick too. Uh, it's a good tool, but it has its limitations. It's made out of cast aluminum or forged aluminum or some kind of silly aluminum. Aluminum is really not a good material to make these kind of tools out of. Most of them I've seen are aluminum. Don't ask me the brand of this thing. I forgot that many, many years ago. Uh, but the design of that type of puller is very good. I just kind of wish they'd done it in tool steel. There are some that are tool steel. I haven't seen one for quite a while, but uh, but this tool will do the job. I've recommended this tool to uh, my students uh, because it worked so well for me in many years in the field. And so I recommend you have one of these tools in your uh, in your toolkit. Remember, if you have a fan motor that has failed and you can't get it off, there's no way you can get it off. There are some that are just so tight on there you can't get them off. If you have one like that, cut the shaft. Just cut the shaft out of it. Uh, and then the shaft will be sticking in the hub. There's a good chance you're not going to get it out of there. You can set the hub on a on a socket or something I'll kind of demonstrate that okay if you can see what I've done I've just taken a socket and stuck it underneath there and then you can take a drift and just try to hammer the drift through there uh, good chance by that point you're not gonna win uh, and this thing is gonna you know, you just have to replace the fan blade uh, Anyway, that is removing a fan blade with a hub-type puller.